All right, we're gonna take a little look at high passing here. These are some sort of wild, sloppy gang vocals that are adding to the energy on the chorus. I may take a look at some other things as well, but this is basically about high passing, talking about high passing everything. Basically, low frequencies can really muddy up your mix, and you only actually need a couple of things to have a lot of low frequencies, mainly your kick drum, sometimes your snare drum, other types of drums, and then your bass instruments, whatever those maybe electric bass, upright bass, synth bass, 808s, those sort of things. Those all need plenty of low frequencies, but pretty much everything else, you want to get rid of the low frequencies because they build up and they muddy up your mix. So how do you do that? Well, it's pretty easy, actually. I have uh, one of these channel strip plugins on nearly every track and every production that I do now it just allows me to grab EQs or compressors or just straight levels or phase or whatever really quickly. This is a console plugin by Brainworks that I'm using in this particular case. So yeah, we're going to check out these background vocals. And basically what you want to do is start out by soloing whatever the instrument is. I don't give up flying. You can probably hear there's not even a lot of low-end information necessarily there in the first place. But um, I'm actually going to listen to this particular part because that has a little bit more low-end in it. So all you do is you activate your high pass and then you kind of sweep it until you're really not hearing it anymore, right? I don't give up flying. Oh, I don't give up flying. Oh. So, I mean, I, I'm not hearing a massive noticeable difference in the sound until I get to like 250 around there between 200 and 300, let's say. That's just an easy choice to make. Automatically, I can say, well, I can high pass at 250 and it's not massively changing the sound. So that's a no brainer, right? Then what you do is you listen to it in the context of the whole mix and in most cases, you're going to be able to even further high pass without noticing a huge difference. Maybe it's a So um, as you can kind of hear there, I, I can go even further, you know, up above 300 hertz of high passing without hearing a drastic change. And that just allows me to get rid of all that low end information that might be mudding up my mix. And uh, let me see if I can find another instrument here and we'll, we'll do a similar thing. Let's check out these trumpets and uh, trombones here and we can do something similar there. So again, you wanna solo whatever instrument it is that you're going to be high passing. In this case, I have all of these horns going to this trumpet and bone, meaning trombone, aux or bus or sub. Those all mean the same thing. Going to listen to it, turn my high pass on. You know, and you might want to listen to different sections of the song if the, you know, instrument is changing, doing different things in different sections. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, in this case, it's a good thing I did that because there's definitely more low end in this particular section of the song. And that led me to choose this sort of 150 range at which I could comfortably high pass these instruments when they're soloed and not really hear a drastic difference. I'm just getting rid of essentially unnecessary low end information there. Then again, I'm going to unsolo it, listen in the track and see if maybe I can high pass a little bit more. So in, in that case, you know, we're not even hearing a ton of them in that particular section. I might want to go to a section where they're being heard a bit more, such as the pre here. We thought twice, but it reconsidered. In case you don't know where you go, I go. Maybe it's psycho. I don't give a dying. Whoa. In case so yeah, I can, you know, easily up that you know above 200 without hearing a drastic change and that's what you're looking for again you can do this on a whole lot of different things in your track including the vocals your vocal bus any of your uh, keyboards or guitars percussion instruments of various sorts all those sort of things basically anything that doesn't specifically need to have a lot of low end such as a drum or a bass instrument you can perform the same action with and uh, that'll allow you to gain a lot of clarity in your mix quite easily